Okay, so we will we will start with our speakers. The first one I will uh, introduce our speaker. We have Rizka Ayu Setiani, SSTMPH, is currently a public health doctoral program at Universitas 11 Maret Indonesia. She is a lecturer, researcher, book author, consultant, speaker, reviewer of the journal, and midwife who initiated and developed complementary midwifery therapy in Indonesia. She is a prenatal gentle yoga facilitator and certified mom and baby massage and spa. She is an expert on reproductive health and highlights women issues and HIV AIDS. She has experiences as a mentor in the abstract mentoring program, 11 IAS conference on HIV science, IAS 2021, and the 24th International AIDS conference, AIDS 2022, and IAS mentorship program. She is awarded Paragon Innovation Award, Social Innovation Health Initiative, as IHI and Southeast Asian Women 2021. Last year, Riska was a speaker at a virtual International Day of the Midwife with the abstract title is The Bird Equi Equity in the Midwifery Services of Pregnant Women Living with HIV AIDS in Indonesia has been realized. So, Riska, the time is yours, please. Okay, uh, thank you, Mrs. Uh, thank you for the time, Mrs. Gita. And also thank you so much for all participants in Virtual International Day of the Midwife 2022 for the opportunity. Uh, is it clear for uh, you, uh, it, my voice? Yes, yes, it's clear. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Gita. I am very grateful because this is the second time for me as a speaker in VIDM. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rizka Ustiani. I'm a PhD student at Public Health, Universitas 11 Maret, Indonesia. I'm a midwife who initiated Sekolah Komplement Sinta Ibu. And today, I would like to talk to you about initiation of Sekolah Komplement Cinta Ibu, Sekoti program in releasing safe motherhood based antenatal care in Indonesia. And hopefully, this will act as a springboard for discussion. I plan to speak for about 30 minutes and my talk will be divided into three sections. The first is the background of Sekoti and second, we will learn about the description of Sekoti innovation as a problem solving Sekoti products and achievements. And finally, I will explain the Sekoti's impact and milestone. I would sure be glad to answer any question at the end of my presentation. So please hold uh, your question if you have any. So let's discuss everyone. Okay, uh, I will start uh, of my slides or with the problems. Stunting affects one third of children under five years old in developing countries and 14% of childhood deaths are attributable of it. A large number of risk factors for stunting have been identified in epidemiological studies. Even though child mortality is decreasing, child children around the world are still suffering from delayed physical growth. In fact, 30% of children in developing countries are stunted. It means that they have had more than two standard deviations below the global and which is one of the highest in Southeast Asia and maternal health issues are closely related to stunting chronic malnutrition caused by in insufficient nutrition consumption within a long period of time which disrupt child growth. Around 27.7% of children it's under 5 are stunted. According to the 2019 survey of uh, nutritional status of Indonesia children under the age of 5 in the world, Indonesia occupies the 17th position of 117 countries for the stunting incident. So it's too many. The first 1,000 days of life up until a child turns two are most important because development during this period impacts a child for the rest of his or her life. Stunting during this period is related to poor outcomes in health, cognitive development, and educational and economic attainment later in life. 
In order to reduce stunting, it is important to understand it is determinants and their relative effect to help priority setting in designing policies to improve childhood growth. Safe motherhood means ensuring that all women have access to the information and services they need to go safely through pregnancy and childbirth. It includes education on soft motherhood, prenatal care, care, care during pregnancy, and counseling with focus on high-risk pregnancies, promotion of maternal nutrition, adequate uh, delivery assistance in all cases, provision for obstetric emergencies, including uh, referral services for pregnancy, childbirth, and abortion complication, and postnatal care uh, or care after childbirth. Antenatal care refers to health education and regular medical checkup given to a pregnant woman in order to make the outcome of pregnancy safer, reduce cases of maternal morbidity and mortality through early detection and treatment. Antenatal care is also necessary to screen high-risk pregnancy and high-risk labor sign. However, the Indonesia coverage of full antenatal visit in 2020, only 79.36%. It was caused by lack of information and loss to follow up. Global and national targets for 2025 is 90% pregnant women to attend four or more antenatal care visits. Today, around the worldwide, Miss midwives are use complementary therapies in their profession more than the other medical practitioners. Complementary therapy is usually used in combination with current treatments and alternative treatments are used instead of current treatments. A literature review estimates that between 65 until 100% of midwives have used one or more complementary therapies. Common types of complementary alternative medicine there that are recommended by midwives, midwives were message therapy, herbal medicine, relaxation techniques, nutritional supplements, aromatherapy, homeopathy, and acupuncture. These methods can be used for treatment of nausea and vomiting, back pain, anxiety, postpartum, depression, anemia, stria gravidarum, insomnia, hemorrhoid, vaginal infection, malpresentation, augmentation, and induction of labor, perineal care, retained placenta, and lactation problems. So that midwives not only need to know the strength and limitations of complementary alternative medicine, methods but also they should be, ab be able to talk to women about the effectiveness and possible risk of these procedures. So let's see uh, my innovation. Uh, we initiated Sekolah Komplementer Sinta Ibu Sekoci to release safe motherhood based antenatal care services with a holistic complementary midwifery care approach. Scotty is innovation in developing a class of pregnant women with a complementary midwifery approach which targets pregnant women and community health workers. We also developed uh, ASIC aplikasi sayang ibu bayi complementer as data documenting and monitoring application based on websites and Android. And we will go to the next slide. Okay. Sekolah Komplementer Cinta Ibu or Sekoci is an organization for maternal and child health. Sekoci is a health innovation program that is in collaboration with the public health center. Sekoci was first implemented in Sleman and Yogyakarta, Indonesia. The Sekoci program aims to educate and empower pregnant women independently during pregnancy uh, and childbirth and postpartum. Sekoci also advocates for the mental health of expecting and new to motherhood women, especially during COVID-19 pandemic by providing massage, yoga, aromatherapy, hypnotherapy practices. Sekoci Innovation has been copyright and received several awards such as the Paragon Innovation Award 2021 in the healthcare category and the Social Innovation in Health Initiative 2021. Products produced from Sekoci activities include digital information technology, books, aromatherapy masks, moringa noodles, and tea. We open opportunities for volunteers who support Sekoci classes.
So uh, look at the slide. Uh, there are five activities in the Sokochik class. So this is the five uh, five activities, uh, namely Sokochi uh, launched. Uh, Sokochi was launched uh, for the first time on February 9, 2020 in Sleman, special region of Yogyakarta, Indonesia, by the party uh, region Sleman. This event was attended by the Sleman Health Office, villages, sub-district, pregnant women, and community health workers. We train Sokochi volunteers, include midwives and community health workers to increase their knowledge about maternal and children's health. Sokochi Direct Class was held at the public health center and private midwife to improve pregnant women's knowledge and health. This class is scheduled and, on, and can only be followed by patients in Sokochi partners in public health center. Sokochi online class was held through WhatsApp group, YouTube, Instagram, Zoom to improve pregnant women's knowledge and health. This class is flexible and can be followed by all pregnant women in Indonesia and also another world, uh, although, although no patients in Sokochi partners. Monitoring and evaluation with research and partnership of Sokochi for at least three years. And the next slide. Okay, this is the uh, mini research of Sekoci program. We have conducted research on the impact of Sekoci classes on 150 pregnant women spread through the Indonesia. We collect uh, the identity identity of pregnant women, including age, education, occupation, and pregnancy status. The average age of them was 27.31 years uh, with 96% having a senior high school and university education, 28.67% as a housewife, and 57.33% currently having their first pregnancy. In conclusion, Sekoci was effective as a medium of midwife counseling for pregnant women, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Most of the participants said that they were satisfied with Sokoti, which is 80% in the health education program and 94% in the pregnancy consultation program. As many as 70% of participants prefer the WhatsApp group as a means of implementing Sokoti. The use of WhatsApp group media was recommended because it was easier to use and cost effective. We recommend the, the government scale up the Sokoti program so that it has a broad impact. Okay, next slide. In the sixth uh, slide, I, I will to show you about the milestones of Sekoci. Sekolah Komplementer Cinta Ibu began to be initiated and implemented in 2020. Furthermore, there needs to be a five years follow up plan in 2021 until 2025. We have signed a memorandum of understanding between the Sekoci team and Depok to Sleman and Gedong Tengen Yogyakarta Public Health Center in Indonesia as partner for three years. In 2021, we were training community health workers to make functional food from natural ingredients uh, such as moringa leaves, uh, catfish flour, and lemongrass as nutritional enhancer for pregnant women breastfeeding and toddlers. In addition, we also developed a website-based Sekoci application. In 2022, we initiated the implementation of Sekoci at other health centers in Surakarta City, Indonesia, started building a network of local, national, and international partners, and evaluated the program. We hope that VIDM's activities will become a medium for Sekoci promotion to expand partnership. Next year, we will advocate the policy of Sekoci to be a regional and national program in Indonesia with complementary therapy in pregnancy classes. If you want to know more about the Sekoci program, you can visit our social media via Instagram and, and YouTube or do not hesitate to send us your email. 
So uh, that is all for me. Uh, at last but, but not least, we await your participation in Sekolah Komplementer Cinta Ibu as a partner or volunteer. Uh, thank you so much for your time and attention. I would like to apologize if there is a mistake. I hope what I have shared will be beneficial for all of us. Looking forward to see you soon. I give this section back to Mrs. Kita. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Mrs. Rizka, Miss Rizka. So a very, very great presentation and very good information, especially for the Indonesian midwife and for all of the midwife over the world. So maybe if you have a question for uh, Miss Rizka, please, you can ask through the chat box or you can raise your hand and directly to give the question to the Miss Rizka. Okay, Ms. Riska, we can see here we have one question from Yanti. Hello, Yanti. So thank you very much for the question. This is question about, I would like to ask about Sokochi program that is effective for tackling stunned children. That is the question. Thank you. You can answer, try to answer, please. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Yanti, for the question, and Mrs. Kita for the facilitate um, me to uh, in the in this event. Uh, I I want to answer uh, the Mrs. Yanti question uh, about the Kochi program. Uh, what is the effective for tackling stunt? children uh, is it the indirect uh, effect in a Sokochi program to stand uh, to reduce uh, the stun uh, problems in Indonesia but uh, in antenatal care uh, we 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 have uh, activities such as a massage for uh, the increase or improve the uh, body weights uh, in babies uh, in uh, it is the improve the relaxation of the babies uh, so it is uh the effect of uh, the effect of the program is uh, indirectly for the stunting but indirectly is the improve for the baby weights uh, and the stun uh, cases thank you mrs yanti okay so scotty has the program like a baby massage for the mother and yeah. the baby like that and maybe another yeah. another health promotion already established in the scotty such as the health promotion for the prenatal women or pregnancy mm -hmm. women about how yes, to of course. get the good nutrition i think like that right yeah of course mrs kita and okay. also for, uh, for relaxation uh, activities such as hypnotherapy okay. and yoga yeah it is the, during the during the, pregnancy the, period during pregnancy periods okay so sure. interesting so okay please guys if you have a question please you can put in the chat box or you can raise your hand and directly give the question to the miss riska maybe miss riska you can tell us um, a little bit about Scotty, maybe uh, some some participants here want to understand what is Scotty in the in the English name. Scotty is a school, like school. Like what is Scotty in the English? You can explain a little bit about that. So curious yeah. name, Scotty. What is that? Scotty is School of Complementary Alternative Medicine uh, in pregnancy class, maybe. <laughs> Uh, Sakoti is the uh, abbreviation. Uh, it is the not not uh, not a translator in English, but also it is the definition of Sakoti in other language. Maybe school of complementary therapy in okay. pregnancy woman. Okay, yeah. so interesting in in Indonesia. So interesting. This is the meaning of the Sakoti, right? Sekolah Cinta Ibu, like school for the very very love for the mother, like that, right? yeah yeah we hope it can give a lot of the benefit for mother and children in indonesia mm. and um, we still have maybe 10 minutes to question and answer and for discussion so feel free to give the question for us and maybe during we will wait another participants will ask the question so we can uh maybe uh, I'm curious about a kind of the complementary therapy that mostly used by the midwife in the Scotty. 
what kind of the complementary therapy that mostly use and the women need to use and ask to get a service in the scotchy yeah uh thank you so much uh, mrs erica and uh about the regulation in uh, indonesia yeah. about midwifery complementers such uh, as uh yeah about regulation such as a national government uh, regulation and undang-undang and then uh the uh permenkes maybe uh in the ministry of health uh, government uh is it also developed in in my provision in midwifery in indonesian midwife association so it is uh it is the uh the develop others um in indonesia about regulation but also uh in sakochi programs uh it is the not not no substitute of the pregnancy class program uh, but also it is the develop develop or uh, an uh, develop of sakochi uh, develop of pregnancy class uh, in public health centers maybe so please uh, we can collaborate and uh, we can uh, support of the complementary in alternative medicine in indonesia uh, in my in in our provision in midwifery in indonesia uh, with uh, regulation and uh, with yeah regulation in national program such as permenkes uh, undang-undang and so on okay so maybe the question from mrs erica you can get the answer from the Ms. Riska, right? So about the regulation, like the law, like a policy in Indonesia already established, but maybe because the Sekochi has a connected and collaboration with the public health center. So maybe yeah. that is the, the key point in this uh, activity. Yes, uh, it's not independently a uh, program, but also is the included of a uh, public health center program uh, in pregnancy class, uh, which is a program of national program in Ministry of Health in Indonesia. And please support uh, for for complementary uh, midwife. And I hope uh, the Indonesian Midwife Association can be supported uh, of a regulation of about midwifery complementary in Indonesia. Yes, we hope together. Yes. And please, anyone want to ask question? We still have a lot of time to discuss about this. And this is very interesting topic for us. And thank you. Thank you, Cecil. Uh, and you're welcome. Uh, but also, not Kochi. Uh, but sakochi sakochi <laughs> yeah not kochi sakochi sekolah cinta ibu okay and so in this uh sakochi in this kochi is uh what uh, maybe we will we will understand again about um, my question before Miss Riska asking the question for you. The mostly complementary therapy that use uh, by Scotchy team to the midwife. That already a lot of the question for the women need to ask to get the kind of services from the complementary therapy. So, what is the mostly used kind of complementary therapy? from Scotchi? Yeah, uh, in Scotchi program, uh, we usually use uh, most of the usual use in therapy uh, about massage, massage therapy for pregnant women and uh, babies. Uh, we teach a uh, pregnant woman to can, uh, can do massage for baby mm -hmm. and also uh, pregnant, prenatal gender yoga yoga for pregnancy woman and hypnotherapy uh, aromatherapy yeah it's a lot right mm. okay and the question from the cecilia tell us more about foods that are available to women in pregnancy what food are usually eaten especially in indonesia or maybe in the your region yeah 
Uh, Tergantungan usually uh, eating some food uh, not sense uh, because uh, the smells of the food uh, in pregnancy not spe uh, not specific uh, in smells uh, to smells uh, because the uh, pregnant women have a uh, sensitivity of smells uh, in Indonesia uh, maybe usually uh, eat yeah foods uh, like likes uh, fruits and uh, vegetables and we uh, we have uh, morning leaves uh, to Sokoti activities uh, in in ingredients uh, in natural ingredients and likes uh, noodles and tea uh, but also it substitute uh, in tea leaves uh, in tea leaves to morning leaves to uh, reduce anemia yeah oh, uh, yeah and uh, cat floor cat, cat, catfish floor catfish floor is the more protein uh with uh, then a uh, gluten flour and i use uh it to uh, make a uh, noodles and then uh yeah and then the uh, others others natural and others the spices in indonesia is so more interesting to to be our functional food in pregnant woman and to those okay interesting noodle for the pregnant uh, women, yeah, Miss Riska. So you, yeah. you, Scott, and you and Scotty has a collaboration with the, like a nutrition mm. factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, I collaborate uh, with a, a nutritional export uh, to make sure uh, in ingredients in functional food in Scotty activities is the uh, interest and is the important for the pregnant woman. Okay, that's so great. And another and question. Have, okay, okay, please. Okay, and I have a um, um, mini research of uh, the develop in the products of the company. Ah, okay, so interesting. Maybe next time you can share about the research to us. Okay. And one question uh, again from Miss Erika. Erika. A pregnancy class in Indonesia. So how you can include it Scotty program to the national program like pregnancy class? Maybe you can explain. Yeah, sure. Miss Erika, uh, I want to share about the uh, uh, curriculum of Scotty class, uh, but uh, not in here uh, because it is the more, more uh, administration in uh, curriculum. Uh, I, I want to I want to share uh, with the partners uh, in public health centers or in the partners individual such as an institutional uh, midwife or another partners uh, which are collaborate in Sakoti uh, program. But uh, if you interest to be a partner in Sakoti, I want to share you about the curriculum and you can make uh, in the others uh, others place in Sokoti to build and develop of it okay interesting so maybe anyone or any institution will join and imitate this program yeah. welcome uh, in Scotty you can contact Miss Riska directly and please yes. you can maybe make a note this is the email for the Scotty uh, what kind of name institution or program or some activities uh -uh. okay yes. anyone want to ask again the question please you have five minutes and maybe during the this presentation and don't forget to send the evaluation and in the last session we will put the email and the link and uh, you can get the certificate but again i remember maybe you want to ask the question please we still welcome the question if not okay if not maybe we will finish this session. 
Thank you very much for Miss Rizka. Thank you so much, Mrs. Gita, and also all participants.